And what's good, Eagles gang? It's your boy Moochie Robinson coming in with another video. And before I get into it, please like, share, and subscribe as I bring to you more Eagles content on a daily. And happy holidays to everybody that's enjoying their holidays as far as their presents. Uh, you know, as far as Christmas goes, hopefully everybody, you know, again, got what they wanted. And it's all about family at the end of the day. And hopefully we get what we want tomorrow when the Eagles face the Giants for the second time. We're 7-7 seven and seven now. Hopefully we'll be, we will be 8-7 and seven if we, you know, manage and keep everything together um, as a float. And for some reason, I just feel that we are going to become 10-7 and seven for some odd reason. I mean, you know, it feels like everything is coming into fruition. And, you know, they keeping their head up, you know, and, you know, we can get to the uh, the playoffs and the wild card and we can, you know what I mean, keep it moving. Uh, hopefully Nick Sirianni can stay into, uh, well, be able to get into the game, you know, because he caught COVID. Um, but I don't have a problem with it. More and more when I see these, you know, when we see the game, it feels like they're putting new um, plays and different formations into the game now. And, they, you know, of course, they definitely uh, – having more runs like they you know they running the ball more so that's that's a plus so uh hopefully Nick Sirianni will be able you know to come get off the COVID list and still coach be the head coach and other than that I mean have St um St Shane Stainage as the uh the head coach or they said another guy but I just can't think of his name right now but um far as the offense go I believe that the way how this game is going to go is going to be the same as the Washington game. We're going to start off slow through the first and second half or just for the first half period, and then we're going to come off strong in the second half. Um, I mean, I'm just playing the spade to spade. I'm just playing it safe, and I'm just saying how we've been doing this for the past couple of weeks, but I just know that we're going to get this win. Uh, you know, as far as Jalen Hurts, he's going to definitely get back into this, you know, into the spirit of things. You know, rent is due. Uh, he's got a, uh, he's going to bounce back from those three turnovers that he did with the last game with Washington. Uh, same with Jalen Rager. Keep him in the offense. Like, just keep him in the offense. Have him catch more footballs for more yardage and touchdowns. You don't, there's no need for him to be on punt return and kick return. Have Kenny Gainwell and Boston Scott if you can. Or just have Kenny Gainwell ball out because he's been doing a great job. He's been doing way better than Rager as far as running the ball. I mean, he's been doing like at least a good 30 yards. Um, you know, once he catch the ball. So that's a plus. And then uh, we got Thunder and Lightning with Jordan Howard and uh, Miles Sanders. Me personally, I would start Howard because he's the Thunder. He could definitely break down the defense, uh, slow him up to the point where when Miles Sanders come in, he could be the Lightning and just, you know, dart, do his thing as far as getting yardage because he's been doing almost 100-plus yards in the last two games. Dallas Goddard, I'm pretty sure Jalen Hurts is going to be looking out for him. Uh, for, for, you know, as far as the long haul and, you know, as far as him being in trouble. Um, Devontae Smith, I mean, he hasn't been really loud, but he's been open. I mean, he's been getting into tight spots, you know, as far as catching that nice ball, almost going out of bounds and, you know, placing his, both of his feet down. We got Watkins, uh, you know, he's, of course, he's, he's going to be balling. I mean, he could take the long stretch, you know, the flies out, you know, as far as going down the field. Uh, implementing, I would implement, you know, as far as J.J. Arcega wide side. I mean, I get it. He always blocking, but he still has hands. You can still use him. Plus with Ward. I mean, Ward definitely proved himself. I would definitely like to see him in the offense and, in, in, you know, as far as the scheme of things um, a lot more. I like what they did with Darius Slay as far as him motioning because that definitely messed the defense up thinking that he, they was going to throw it to him. And obviously it was a running game far as with Miles Sanders, you know, going to the right side, almost making a touchdown. But if they implement that, we definitely have a good chance of, you know, scoring an easy 30. I would believe that my prediction with the game would be 31-21. Not even that, maybe 30. I really, real talk, I would say 30, 34-17 because now we have the Giants offense where I don't even think that they first string is starting. They starting the um, third stringer. Um Barkley, uh, uh, he's not really what he used to be. I mean, he's still banged up. He's not going to bury Sander, bury Sander us uh, in this game. I don't believe. Um, the only thing I don't like is the defense. Hopefully, um, the defense can tighten up. None of that. 
being off the ball, five yards off the ball, and this, that, and third. And I can't stand playing zone because playing zone with this team makes the Giants wide receivers open to the point where they be out in space and catching, like, long balls uh, as far as going, like, 30 or just when it's, like, a third and long or – even if it's a you know second and ten, they always manage to catch a ball to get a first down. So just play man, just tighten up and play man. Hopefully Nelson can, uh, he need to be stronger because he's always letting somebody pass him or just get up extra yards. You know, so um, how I see it, we definitely gonna pull this off. I see an eight and seven real fast. Uh, you know, let's just hurry up, get this game over with. And see how we can get into the uh into the wild card. You know what I'm saying? So, I mean, that's my take for it right now. It's nothing much to say because I know that we're strong enough and we're just bouncing back. I mean, uh, we have all the, the we have all the, the the tools that we need to win this game. Um, Hertz is going to ball out, and I definitely like how we're using the running game more. That we don't need to, um Hertz to be doing a lot of Michael Vicking. Stay in the pocket, get your yardage, and you know what I'm saying, and just be a great quarterback, franchise quarterback, as, like, how you supposed to be, you know. So, other than that, get with me in the comments. Tell me what y'all think. I believe that we will win 34-17 or maybe 34-10 because I, I can't see with them having a third-string uh, third third a third string quarterback leading them to anywhere. Now, the only thing I said about the Washington game, the Washington game, all they always play like a team, but – um greatly and appreciated that the, the defense definitely stepped up so um again tell me what y'all think in the comments and um please like share and subscribe and i'm gonna bring more to you um you know as far as this season goes um i'm definitely see y'all tomorrow after the game so until then fly equals fly we interrupt our program to bring you this important message you're sitting on the couch you're watching t and your life is passing you by you keep procrastinating over and over well, no do it right now why are you making it complicated it's easy. 